Hello everyone, Omega Swing here. Welcome back to the third episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. And we are still on multiplayer. And the thing is, I put up another load here. So we're gonna go from Christensen to Stavanger. So it's gonna be the shortest trip yet, so I'm not sure. <laughs> this one is not gonna take that long. But uh, that's the way I want to do this, uh, like delivery and all stuff. I want to do delivery from town to town at most times. Uh, sometimes it's going to be also a little bit longer trips, so it's going to be longer episodes. So I hope everyone is going to enjoy that. So let's take this delivery on the road and hopefully we will succeed this one as well. So the thing is, this is uh, gonna be the, like the last delivery as well here in Norway. Because now we're going to every city and all stuff. The thing is, here in Norway as well, we have some special transports that you can do, but the thing is, you have to do them in single player. That's gonna be for another time. The thing is, I don't know what country I'm gonna go in next. I might just start doing in going in Sweden or something like that. So yeah, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of episodes uh, on this series because the thing is, like, there's a lot of cities in this map or on this map, I should say. I don't know how many times I've been actually hitting this lighthouse in the roundabout. So uh, that's how good I'm paying attention sometimes in the roads. I think most of the times I've been on the stream as well, but uh, that was uh, back in the days.
das ist schön. Can have a look at the map actually as well, guys. Just so you, you guys also know how big the map is. So, yeah. Just to fill up a little bit more in this video because otherwise this video will be just 10 minutes and that feels a little bit short to be honest. And there we go. Cool, cool, cool. How was that delivery? No, no, I can guide you through here actually. Uh, so here we go uh, with the map. As I can see that I've been, well, I discovered pretty much all of Scandinavia. There's uh, Copenhagen I haven't discovered and there was something else as well, but yeah. And the thing is, I just discovered 37% of the map. Uh, here we have. Uh, Finland, uh, we have uh, the Baltic Sea DLC, and well, that's also with Finland as well, yes, you know, guys. 
And now though, I'm not sure how popular it's going to be because of the thing that's going on right now. But soon we're going to get the Russia DLC. Uh, then, I'm going to see here. Where is it? Uh, yeah, then we have Poland over here. We have Germany, I haven't really been there that much as, as you can see. The same is in France and Italy as well, because uh, <laughs> and also Spain over here and Portugal. And then we have uh, a little bit of Turkey over here and and Slovakia. My geographic is not the greatest one, guys. Then we have the UK. I think it would be cool if they actually add in like uh, Ireland as well. Uh, well, even though it's not a part of Europe like that, though. I think. Oh wait. Oh. No, I'm getting that wrong now. It's like this part is like part of uh, Ireland and or yeah, whatever. Whatever. I'm not gonna say anything more about that because I'm just gonna get it wrong. That's how I feel. And you see also these uh, like uh, gray dotted lines. That's the fears that you can take and all stuff to so make your trip really well a lot faster. I did one stream. I think I were driving like from Madrid or somewhere thing. And I was gonna go up to Finland. So the thing I did, instead of taking like a three hour drive, went up to the boat over here, went over to Plymouth, went over to uh, Grisby, or oh, Grimsby, not Grisby, sorry. Uh, over to the iceberg, went down to uh, Gedsir, I think it is. Oh no, yeah, yeah, I went down there and then I took this road down here and went up to Trevamande and then I took the ferry all the way up to Helsinki. So that took me about an hour instead of three. So that's uh, really good. That's really good. So all about that. Uh, then here, uh, like if, uh, if you're a new beginner, you start up with these kind of jobs. It's a quick job. Uh, the game set up with you with the truck and all stuff. And uh, well, also they don't pay out this great when I when you start up the profile. But this is also one thing I would recommend you guys to do if you don't have, like know what truck truck you like the most. Just try them all out because they're most likely on this list and all stuff. You see, it's the Scania model that I'm driving. Uh, all stuff and then you have like all other trucks over here Then also the truck brands you actually have here is the Dolph, Ivico, Man, Mercedes, Renault, Scania and the Volvo and those trucks are really good also if you have your own truck you can actually go through this list over here uh, on the freight market and then here you see Korg Market is like a gray zone here. That's because that one uh, is for people that have their own trailer. So you can actually buy your own trailer if you have the room in the garage and all stuff. Uh, so you can pick up like whatever car you want uh, that is uh, suited for that trailer. Just keep in mind. And then here on external contracts. This is where if you have connected your profile with the worldoftrucks.com uh, and also when you're doing this you will get like uh, some achievements as well you might get a paint jobs or be part of other events that I have and that's the thing is like SC software truckers MP and world of trucks they work uh, together together and all the stuff Coming up with the new events that you can give you like a skin for the truck, accessories and all the stuff for the truck as well. And also it feels uh, better to be part of an event for that. For example, like taking care of uh, uh, an event that's going on right now, for example, for the Trucker's MP is actually here in... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Yeah, here at Rock Lab, uh, you have to transport the, uh, what's it called? Uh, 
yeah, we're gonna see if I can actually find one since I lost my yeah here we have it. Like crane and stuff like that. So you have to deliver with these things down there. And if you're on a single player, I don't think it's that gonna be a deal for it. Because I'm not sure if that's gonna show on the map actually. That's one thing I have to investigate to be honest. Then you have uh, when you have done that, you're actually helping them because they are actually building their new headquarters in Rocklaw, wherever it is now. There it is. <laughs> so uh, yeah. That's a really good thing. And that's pretty much that. And also the same thing with uh, external contract. That's the same if you have a, a trailer, like for the cargo market. The thing is the external market is like external contracts. And also when you do an external contract, you have a truck limit speed on the 90 km an hour. That's your top speed. It's for a good cause as well. It's like you see how much you have been actually working on, so you get achievements, like I said, all that stuff. And this convoy mode that is is uh, available in single player. You can actually set up a convoy for you and your friends to play on. You can be up to eight players uh, with, uh, well, with your own trucks and all that stuff, but you have traffic and all the stuff as well. So for those that doesn't have Trucker's MP, I would recommend you guys try that out if you want to play together. Uh, just keep in mind uh, that uh, some zones are non-contact, for example, uh, repair centers, they might be in contact. Uh, but the thing is, you can set up everything like that before you actually accept that session, before you start the session, for example. You can also choose if you want to turn off the traffic. And then you can set up your radio station and stuff. I'm not going to talk about that that much because, <clears throat> well, music on YouTube is not that popular. But anyway. Then you have email that's like for beginning and stuff. Uh, well, you get these kind of stuff like, uh, yeah, they add a new transport, a special transport and all stuff uh, for single player and all stuff. So that's really good. Then you have the photo studio, and that's looking like this. This is really cool, actually. So you can take pretty cool screenshots and all stuff, but uh, yeah, it's easier to do these kind of thing in a single player because the thing is, on, when it comes to multiplayer, like Trucker's on P. You have to have the truck standing still, but when you're doing it in a uh, single player, you can do it whenever you feel like it. <coughs> and then you have a vehicle browser. This, uh, you can see what the trucks look like and all stuff, but that's easy as that. Uh, then you have this thing. You can uh, increase the graphic and all stuff. You can see what I have. I have on the ultra setting, so yeah, that's really good. And okay, I'm gonna do that. Have to move the truck, otherwise I will uh, lose connection. And back to this. <laughs> okay, and then you have the audio setting and all stuff. That's really cool. You can control all the audio in the game, like how much noise the truck is gonna make for you and all stuff. Then you have the gameplay. Uh, here you set off like uh, fatigue on the simulation when you get tired or not. Then you have these kind of thing that you can set up as well. And then there's a lot of other things, for example. So that's really good. That's really good. Then here you set up uh, the keyboard, the uh, steering wheel or controller, whatever you're using. There's a lot of things over here. Then you have the controls, that's where you connect the steering wheel, gamepad, and whatever. Then for the online, is yeah, these kind of things. So that's pretty much it. And uh, that's that actually. And then also the thing is for the trucks and all stuff. You have like truck dealers, uh, Porsche trailers and all stuff, and all these kind of icons. And also you can see what kind of truck upgrades is available for you right now. 
track manager, trailer manager, driver as well if you hire drivers. And then here, purchase garages. All the green one is the one that I have. So you can see that I don't own very much, but they are pretty much all spread out. So yeah, if I'm gonna be honest, that's gonna be that for today. But uh, I want to say thank you all for watching and take care. But before I actually go, I want to, uh, don't forget to smash that like button and the subscribe button as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. So until then, have a good day and take care. Bye-bye.